in an ideal world, I don't understand the ideal world, but I feel like every day is okay. <laughs> I hope my mother is not watching this. Hi, I'm Etoile Ashley and welcome to Not So Secret. What is the most important quality you look for in a partner? Um, I think the most important one first, um, it comes to a sense of responsibility into them that goes hand in hand with personality. And then after that, of course, the looks. I mean, we can't leave that behind. Your kids can't look like loyalty. Um, and then it goes on to loyalty, friendship, and all these things that makes you feel comfortable around them. Are relationships meant to last forever? <laughs> um, which type? Which type? Is it the lovers or just normal day-to-day -day relationships that we, we encounter? But I think if it's for the lovers, I think yes, they are meant to last forever. Why would you put yourself in a situation with someone and you don't want it to last forever? I think that's a waste of your time, you know? What's the juiciest pickup line you've ever had? It's that one of... Um, did you fall from heaven? You look like an angel? Something in those lines? So we gotta get her to the hospital. What are you talking about? You've had a terrible fall. No, I haven't. Really? Because I could swear you fell straight out of heaven, angel. I feel like it's it's just so cheesy. Like, what, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to do, you know? I wouldn't even respond to that one. Are you friends with any of your exes? I'm friends with all of my exes, in fact. There's no beef whatsoever friendship you know how would you like to be perceived by other people hmm this is a tricky one i think i come out to the public as first i i consider myself as a working brand so i come out to the public as a um, motivator um how should i put it like i need to set examples i need to be a role model i feel like Especially to the youth, I feel like we need to, we owe each other examples so that we become a better, um, may I say, nation or youth? Yeah, so I think that's the way. Okay, have you ever lived with a partner? Ish, duration? Because this is a bit tricky. Lived, I don't think so. But things like for weekends and stuff, yeah, but not like live, live. What is your favorite love song? Hmm. Funny enough, I don't listen to love songs. I'm not so much of a softy. I think when they play, they make me feel awkward. Like, okay, what, what's this? So, but I don't know if I should call them love songs, but the type of songs that Billie Eilish does, I think that's that's the type of love songs I would listen to. Can you jiggle? <laughs> um, uh, Okay, I think I can. Anyway, you know when you're doing when you're doing that, you feel like you're perfecting the skill, but the people who are looking at you from the outside are just like, okay, what is she doing? So from my own mind, I think I can. What could you and your significant other do together for 24 hours without getting bored? Swim. I really love to swim, I'm a water baby. So, so that, yeah. Would you rather go a day without your phone or without toilet paper? <laughs> what? Okay, I would go a day without my phone, obviously, but toilet paper is a necessity. What? <laughs> have you ever had your heart broken? Yeah, I have, sadly. Who can you stay at endlessly? I don't want to blow my own home, but can I say myself? I think I can. I don't really get tired of the mirror, you know? So, if that ain't weird, yeah, myself. Besides social networking sites, what websites do you visit every day? <laughs> um... Uh, Okay, you know this online learning stuff like client and other social networks. Anyway, if you could go back to any moment in your life and do things differently, would you? I don't think so. I feel like my past defines who I am now. So if I could have done something different, I don't think I could be in the same road that I am now. So maybe I could have been a different person doing different stuff, which I don't think I favor the most. Have you ever been hypnotized? No, but I would love to be. I know it's weird, but yeah, I would love. Would you rather have a sports car, a private jet, or a boat? A private jet, please. But also a boat. Okay, but a private jet. Private jet. Do you like talking on the phone? It depends on my mood that day, but mostly let's just text, you know? Reduce the calls to text. I think that that can work. What TV couple is the epitome of relationship goals? My gosh, if you know my sister and Deshi, her relationship is goals, and everybody knows that. 
it's been breaking the internet for like three weeks now the engagement you should watch that why do you look forward to the most when you think about getting old ew nothing i really don't want to get old man i think it's just a lot of suffering and wrinkles and all that no i don't i don't think about it do you have any phobias yes i have a phobia for sunrise weird i know but i can't see the sunrise if i i'll have a very bad day so i need to sleep before like five and six i'll be asleep because that's when most most times it's yeah the sunrise so no i can't do sunrise give us your best air guitar solo performance what What is the biggest sacrifice you've ever made for, re for a relationship? I cut off my, my male best friend once. And I think that was just a bit dark. Because my partner wasn't comfortable with the fact that we're always together in that. And we've been like friends. Then it was like five years. And then one day I just decided to cut him off because apparently my partner wasn't comfortable. Like that was, that was uncalled for. I, sh I will never do that again. I will never be that gone girl. What was your favorite toy as a kid? Teddy bears. I had a whole collection of teddy bears. Are you close with your family? Very close. Extremely close. My mom is my best friend. What sounds or smells bring you comfort? I think most of the men perfumes. I'm a sucker for men cologne. Oh my god. I really just do like them. If you could go anywhere right now, where would you go? Wow. The Maldives, I think. Yeah. Any, any island with with the clear water where I can just swim all day, I think that can work and, and drink cocktails, you know. If you could trade places with one person for a day, who would it be? She, the president of Namibia. I really think we, we need to place some things where they need to be rather than where they are right now. So I, I, would, I would do that for a day. What is your biggest pet peeve? Well, first, body odor. And then, uh, I don't know how you call it, but like people who speak and then they're having saliva coming out of their mouth and then very untidy like just a lot of dirt like i just don't like dirt would you ever enter a hot dog eating contest yes please food is bay i would even now does a significant other like it when you wear cologne perfume or nature yeah no cologne and perfume uh i'm not really a fan of natural scents I feel like if you have the opportunity to wear perfume, why wouldn't you? I mean, when you were a kid, what career did you want to have? First, I wanted to become a pilot. I think till like grade four, and then I wanted to become a doctor, which I am studying now. So yeah, I think that's, that's a good one. Do you collect anything? Yeah, I collect watches and sunglasses. Yeah, I really love watches and sunglasses. What is your ideal date? How is bag riding followed by dinner prepared by your date or dinner out at a romantic restaurant followed by club hopping? Ooh. Anything that ends with the club, what do you do, baby? Anything that ends with the club. Okay, that other thing is romantic, but I mean, have you ever boycotted or protested anything? Yeah, I have. There was a time where in my country, Namibia, that is, there was um, a protest against... There was there was a time where women were just going missing, getting killed and all that. So we had to like protest against that as women. So yeah. When you were a kid, what did you imagine your life would be like as an adult? Honestly, as an adult with a dog living in a mansion, I didn't think of partners or whatever. Just with a pet like a dog and just in a whole mansion by myself. Where is your ideal place to live? On a farm in the middle of nowhere, in an elegant house, on the water, or in a hip downtown condo? I think in an elegant house on the water. I mean, anything that has to do with water, I'm down. Who usually says I love you first in your relationships? It depends. There are times where I said it first and there are times where my partner said it first. It's really not about who. What are you afraid of? I think me and most people is the, have the fear of failure in anything that I do. Like failure is one thing that I fear the most. And I could say snakes and ghosts. So yeah, those three. What do you want to be remembered for? I think the good deeds that I've done on my time here and uh, my my features, um, just the good qualities that I possess, you know, I don't want to leave behind a bad name. Yeah, I guess my secrets are not so secret anymore. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed this. This was, this was very fun. I'm Edward Ashley and you are watching Not So Secret. <laughs>